Last year, Downy Stripe's clan was wiped out by a famine, leaving her alone. Her former clanmates blessed her with nine lives, and she moved into the wastelands to establish a new clan, Waste Clan. Loneliness drove her mad, resulting in her making reckless decisions and losing her first life. This is a reminder that captions are available. I have handwritten them to make them as accurate as can be. Remember to enable them if you have a hard time understanding what I say throughout the video. As the new year begins, the voices of the dark forest continue to haunt Downy Stripe. She questions if becoming a kitty pet would be so bad. You'd see other cats and have free food. However, after sinking her teeth into a prairie dog and feeling the pride of her own cat, those thoughts fade away. Doing her best to ignore the unsettling whispers of the dark forest, Downy Stripe spends the rest of Greenleaf scoping out her territory, something she realized she hadn't dedicated enough time to. She wandered past an old badger set overlooking a crook in a little river. A fresh, new scent caused her to pause in her tracks. With the sour smell of badger making her uneasy, she continues on her patrol. As Leaffall approached, Danny Stripe began to think of ways to take better care of herself and her territory. On patrol, she came across a small dog. A warning hiss sends the dog skittering backwards, yapping loudly but ultimately leaving the territory. Feeling smug, she jokes to herself that she should add dog herding to her list of accomplishments. Her proud acts aren't enough to distract her from the dark forest whispers, however. Desperately trying to distract herself, she spends the next moon hunting as much as possible. Knowing that there's no cat waiting for her to bring prey back to camp, she takes the opportunity to snack while hunting. The strength lets her catch a huge amount of prey, enough to feed her for a couple moons. Now that she is no longer malnourished, Daddy Stripe spins the end of leaf wall, relaxing and batting sunlight. The worry of starvation has left her, and she prides herself in her successful hunts. While on patrol, she notices some suspicious paw prints in the mud. They lead to a trespassing rogue. She had just gotten a good hunting routine, and she was not going to let this rogue steal her prey. Quickly hiding herself in the long grass, she sets up an ambush and sending the rogue fleeing off of Waste Clan territory. The whispering voices of the dark forest return during Leaf Bear. Danny Stripe has been spotting paw prints crossing her territory more frequently. She's successful at chasing the rogue away. The stress of keeping an eye out for them distracts her from her hunting. A craving for rabbit leads her to hunting in the plains when suddenly, the ground trembles beneath her paws. 
She looks around wildly for safe footing, just as the earth caves in beneath her and the world goes dark. She spends her, the entire day carefully working her way free and gets nothing else done, but at least she's unharmed. She visits Two Lake Place for a bit, where she sees a kitty pet sitting by a dog. Traveling further past it, she finds an opening to some tunnels she hadn't discovered before. There's a weak scent of badger here, but it's long gone. There's no other scent around, so she notes the abandoned set as a good spot to check on later, so Prey might seek shelter in the tunnels. During New Leaf, Downy Stripe makes yet another patrol to scout the territory. She finds the rogue stalking through the plains and chases it off. The next moon, she checked the area once again. The paw prints marking the ground only smelled like herself. The rogue is no longer a threat. Feeling accomplished with chasing away the rogue, she vows that she will defend the territory of Wasteland with all of her remaining lives. She ventures the grasslands, wanting to strongly mark every border. It's a spot where a herd of bison wander about, the air filled with the scent of another clan. She identifies them as Hemlock Clan. Unfortunately, the bison have churned the grass into mud, wiping away the territorial marks. Wanting to leave a good impression on this neighboring clan, she remarks the border. A close call with the bison nearly cost her life, but she managed to avoid that. When Greenleaf returns, she heads back into the grasslands to check the border with Hemlock Clan. Danny Sharp spends the day remarking it carefully until she reaches a spot where the border is muddled. Unable to figure out where exactly to mark, she becomes frustrated and returns to Waste Clan's camp. Thank you for watching another year of Waste Clan. Comment below what you thought of Danny Stripe's adventure so far and what you're excited to or hope to see in the next year. I'm grateful for all of your support for this series and hope you look forward to more episodes.